Hello everyone, CCT here, back with another video. Today I wanted to talk about some important news and information. The first thing that I thought was very important was that CNBC reports that the SEC has made it more clear that security laws apply to cryptocurrencies and exchanges. This is why we saw dip down to 8,300. Since then it's recovered to back over 9K. Um, however, one thing that I thought was interesting about this is that the IRS classifies cryptocurrencies as property. Now the SEC is saying that it's a security and the US Financial Crimes Network is calling it money. So which of it is? That's what I'm wondering. I think in the future we, we will find out. However, right now so much is unknown. There's so much speculation. This is such a new technology that it's just really, really early in the game and there's a lot of unknowns right now. So that's something to be cautious about as well. I think the biggest threat to Bitcoin is governments and regulation right now. Second important piece of news that I wanted to talk about this morning was uh, Mt. Gox. So the Mt. Gox trustee is still sitting on 165,000 of these bitcoins that he hasn't sold yet. So now you're probably wondering, is he gonna sell them? Is he gonna crash the market even worse once again? Well, this trustee, he can't act without the court's permission. Um, if you are interested in this stuff and following up on it, the next court date is in September. Um, this is what I have heard. I've also heard that the people who held money on this exchange will be paid back in dollars at the rate of $400 a Bitcoin. So that's kind of unfortunate for them. Um, moving on to some more news that I thought was relevant is that uh, fedscoop.com reports that the US government is investing in R&D for cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. I think this is super huge news as well. This is a really good sign. As we saw, I think we're gonna see more of this. As we saw with Russia, Putin said we can't be the last to get this technology. If you're following the Monero fork, you'll see that it got postponed to April 30th. This fork has been extremely controversial in the Monero community. Over half of the community calls it an outright scam or a way to de-anonymize users. So this is really interesting. I still need to look more into it. However, if you're following my Twitter, you will see that I sold 50% of my Monero stake um, before Trade Satoshi listed BTCP. I did this because when Trade Satoshi listed BTCP, it was I saw it, it was around $76 and there was a huge pullback and I bought more at 0 0.03 to 0 0.05 BTC. Um, I'm really happy about this because since then it's doubled. I think BTCP has a ton of potential. I also posted on my Twitter that I was buying more KuCoin. KuCoin is up 16% today. I think KuCoin has a ton of potential if the exchange gets their shit together. Um, Nanex has listed BTCP and they went from 30,000 daily trading volume to over 1 million. Um, obviously something like Binance would be a lot better for BTCP. I think we will see more exchanges listed in the future. Uh, later today, CoinMarketCap will be listing BTCP. I think it's going to be at around the 22 spot on CoinMarketCap based on the 20 million circulating supply and the uh, price of $65, I believe what it's hovering at right now. So I hope you're enjoying the videos. I hope you guys get out and enjoy the sun. With my Steemit giveaway, I have less than 40 Steemit followers. So follow me on Steemit and you have a one in four chance of winning. I'm gonna be picking 10 of my Steemit followers for this giveaway. All you have to do is follow me on Steemit and follow me on Twitter and you will be entered. So hope you're having a good day. I'll probably be uploading another video tomorrow, uh, but this one is more or le more going to be a, just a review on a coin and not so much the news. So I will talk to you soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.